look at that big old pot of gumbo. We're at the Dano's Mardi Gras party, and I made some gumbo. Check it out. Step one, we're gonna make our roux. I got four sticks of unsalted butter. Also adding some avocado oil. Now we need our all-purpose flour. We're gonna measure with our eyeballs. It's a good thing I got 20-20 vision. We're gonna need a little more flour. Kinda thick and clumpy right now, but that's all right. Just keep stirring it. It'll all even itself out. While James is in the background stirring our roux and keeping it going for us, I'm gonna prepare our holy trinity. That's green pepper, onion, and some celery. Now we're gonna cut up a whole bunch of green onion. Next up, I'm adding 16 ears of corn. I like to make my gumbo using corn, shrimp, lobster, sausage, all kinds of stuff. Special guest, spiny lobster. I got five of them and I got four pounds of shrimp. Turn it on its side, push down and crack it. Put your knife right in the butt of the tail, press down, open it up. Cracking that bottom part is what allows it to just pull right out. We're getting our rear darkened up. It's about good for me because we are running a little behind on time. We got to speed this thing up. First thing we're going to do is add our Holy Trinity. Garlic. I guess they call it. Oh, one container of chicken stock. A bunch more chicken stock. Here we got us nine pounds of cut up chicken thighs. Two more containers of chicken broth. Almost forgot, add your green onion. Now it's time to add our seasoning. We're going with spicy Danos. It's all you need. You can find it at Rouse's. We're using one whole bottle. I think we need more. We're going to use two bottles. Some white ground pepper. And let's get our seasonings mixed in. Look at that right there, y'all. It's looking nice and thick. We're going to add some more chicken broth. We got us some of that uh, andouille sausage that we picked up here in Kentucky. We're going to add that in. We're going to add us about a gallon of water. It was pretty thick. So we're struggling to get up to temperature because it is a little bit windy out here. But we're getting there. We're going to go on and start dropping our corn in. And we're going to put a lid on it. That's how we roll. All right, we're getting there. It's time to give this a try. Let's see what this is tasting like. So yeah, it's pretty dang good. We could always use just a little bit more Danos. We're going to add a little bit of the green OG. About half a bottle. Because I'm going to need to save some for later. Put that back on my head. Now our chicken's cooked. We're going to add the last parts. Four pounds of white shrimp. That lobster tail meat from earlier. That lobster and shrimp only takes a couple minutes. Our shrimps are just about done. So now it's time for the very last step. I got four bags of frozen cut okra. I always use the frozen cut okra because it's not slimy like the fresh okra. Now we take it inside, get ready to eat. Now we're going to feed the team, see what they think. Oh, this looks awesome. Get ready to get me some gumbo. Get you some rice. Get you a big old scoop. Let's go get a bite. I'm going in for the lobster. That spice is just right. Yo, the Danos. I used two bottles of Danos and a little bit of the original and a little black pepper. Literally only adding like no more than 20,000 milligrams to that entire pot. You use those other salty, Cajun seasonings, it's way too much salt. This is just right. Let me get another bite of this. Oh, we got some shrimp in that one. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You know what? Let's go ask everybody else what they think. So I know the gumbo's good, but you got what do y'all think about the gumbo? It's so great. great. It was awesome. They're not paid to say that. They're not paid to say that, I promise you.